Hello, this is Daniel Elder. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer with Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and today I will give you an overview of the HPE GreenLake for Private Cloud Business Edition Management Console's core features and functionality. HPE GreenLake for Private Cloud Business Edition is a cloud based management application within Data Services Cloud Console, part of the HPE GreenLake Cloud Platform. This management console can transform the operations and administration of your self-managed virtualization infrastructure and public cloud virtual machine instances. At the time of launch, HPE Electra DHCI is the supported on-premises virtualization solution and AWS is the supported public cloud provider. DHCI is a solution comprised of VMware vSphere running on a disaggregated hardware stack comprised of Electra 5000 or 6000 storage, Reliant DL servers, and top of rack switches all managed as an HCI style solution. To launch the management console, select the Private Cloud Business Edition tile from Data Services Cloud Console. This will take you to the global dashboard. As with all applications within Data Services Cloud Console, user account access can be granted or restricted at the application or feature level. At any time, you can navigate to the other Data Services Cloud Console applications by selecting the drop-down at the top of the user interface. The hamburger menu in the upper left of the user interface will display the various components within the Management Console. The dashboard provides a global view of the systems assigned to your account and associated region. Summary displays the total number of on-prem and public cloud virtual machines as well as on-prem systems associated with this region. System Utilization arranges each on-prem system in a heat map representing memory and CPU utilization of the associated vSphere clusters. Systems are arranged by their overall utilization. Capacity displays the physical storage utilization of each storage array, as well as the top space consuming virtual machines. The Performance tile shows the top virtual machines in terms of total I.O. and average latency, as well as the most recently created virtual machines. The protection tile reflects the overall protection status of all virtual machines in the environment that are being protected by HPE GreenLake for backup and recovery. Configuration checks reflects the results of the once daily checks that are run for each system, analyzing status, health, and best practice adherence. From the hamburger menu, you can access the system section. This provides more detailed information for each system, including the current system versions in solution stack and versions available for update. Data store level migrations, configuration checks, as well as pre-checks and updates can be triggered from this section. The solution stack update can be run on multiple systems in parallel and are non-disruptive, and once triggered are fully automated. Selecting an individual system will provide more detailed view of the system itself, including utilization and protection status. On the right margin, the related info and configuration sections display the relevant information such as the associated vCenter server and any hypervisor clusters running on that system. The status of the configuration checks will bring up a detailed view of each rule that has been verified against the system. These checks run automatically once per day and verify both system health and best practice adherence. Under the Actions dropdown, you can run the same operations against the system that are available from the main system page, including migration, pre-checks, updates, and manually initiating configuration checks. Actions is also where a user would add a hypervisor cluster to the DHCI stack. Specify the name of an existing vSphere data center or the name of a new data center to be created, the name of the cluster object to be created, and whether this new cluster will be configured with standard or distributed vSwitches. Once the cluster is created, utilize the HPE Multi-Array Storage vCenter plugin to populate the cluster with new servers. This uses the standard Add Server Workflow through DHCI. Virtual machine lifecycle actions can be performed including creation, deletion, migration, and power actions. The Data Store section displays the logical data store utilization and allows you to migrate all VMs within a data store as well as provisioning new VMFS or VVOL data stores. The physical infrastructure that is part of the system is also reflected here. Network, server, and storage components are displayed with their overall health as well as the virtual machines and data stores resident on the system. The Storage tab allows you to view more detailed information regarding storage consumption, 
space saving metrics, and any replication partners for the array group of the system. The Virtual Machine section is where a user can manage private cloud and public cloud virtual machines. For private cloud virtual machines, the summary, performance, and utilization display information such as state, location, protection status, latency, and IOPS, as well as CPU, memory, and storage utilization. Lifecycle management actions can be performed including creation, deletion, migration between data stores and clusters within vCenter environment, and power operations. When a user selects to create a virtual machine, they are guided through a straightforward interface where they select the cluster and data store on which to create the virtual machine, the appropriate template to deploy the VM from, and the provisioning policy to apply the necessary storage characteristics and protection policy if HPE Backup and Recovery Service is being utilized. The Import feature allows users to import virtual machines in connected vCenter environments that are currently on clusters not managed by Private Cloud Business Edition, and migrate them to managed clusters. If the user has integrated the Management Console with their Public Cloud account or accounts, the Public Cloud Virtual Machine tab is where virtual machines for those environments can be managed, created, and destroyed. In this example, we are creating an EC2 virtual machine within AWS. The process is greatly simplified and just requires a user to specify the account region, private key name for access, the image, and appropriate instance type. No access to the associated public cloud management console is required to create a virtual machine. To add a public cloud account, you would go into the cloud account section. Here accounts can be added, validated, suspended, or unregistered. To add a public cloud account, a user selects the cloud vendor, enters the appropriate account ID, and an identifying nickname. For AWS accounts, this generates a CloudFormation template which contains the necessary roles and permissions required for Data Services Cloud Console to perform public cloud VM management in that account. The user would create a new stack within AWS CloudFormation by uploading the template then validate the account within the Management Console Cloud Account section. The final section of the Management Console is the Provisioning Policy section. When a private cloud virtual machine or data store is created through the Management Console, it is necessary to select a provisioning policy. These policies specify the characteristics that will be applied to the VMs or data stores within storage. This includes deduplication, encryption, whether it must reside in all flash storage, throughput, and IOPS limitations. If the account has a valid HPE GreenLake for Backup and Recovery subscription, this is also where a user would select an existing protection policy created in HPE GreenLake for Backup and Recovery. These backups can be snapshots, local replicated copies, local copies to a protection store gateway or store once, or a backup copy sent to HPE's cloud backup repository. With HPE GreenLake for Private Cloud Business Edition, you can transform your self-managed on-prem and public cloud infrastructure experience, bringing ease, simplicity, and automation to your day-to-day -day administration and management.